A new image from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope is crowded with faraway galaxies of all forms. Some are seen face-on and seem round, disc-like or spiral-like, while others are seen edge-on and resemble cigars. The new image varies from previous images of the same field of galaxies in that now it contains ultraviolet light data. Ultraviolet light is emitted by the most massive stars, which are also the youngest and hottest, and it gives a unique look into the ongoing star formation in both nearby and distant galaxies. The Hubble Space Telescope was utilized by a team led by Harry Teplitz, an IPAC staff scientist, to investigate ultraviolet light from distant galaxies in a collection of distant areas in the sky known collectively as candles for Cosmic Assembly Near-Infrared Deep Extragalactic Legacy Survey. They examined a wide chunk of the candles' fields, spanning an area of sky around 60% the size of the full moon. The new UV candles project observed around 140,000 galaxies in total, equivalent to about 10 days of Hubble time. As a result, the greatest ultraviolet Hubble survey of distant galaxies to date has been completed. The photographs, according to the experts, will eventually aid in solving a puzzle dating back to the early chapters of our cosmos, to a period known as reionization. This is when the earliest stars and galaxies extreme or high-energy ultraviolet light ionized a cloud of hydrogen gas, breaking atoms into charged electrons and protons. After the fog cleared, light could flow freely across the cosmos, putting an end to the so-called dark ages. It's unclear how this happened, but scientists will learn more by investigating the extreme ultraviolet light released by distant galaxies. In a response, Teplitz stated, we can't see the extreme ultraviolet light coming from the first galaxies because those protons are absorbed before they can reach us. We look instead at very similar or analogous galaxies that are not quite as far away, 11 billion light years instead of more than 13 billion, to try to understand the physical conditions that enable the first galaxies to cause reionization. If you want to learn more about space and stay on top of astronomy news and updates, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.